All right, let's go ahead and build our baseline classifier. So for baseline classifier, we will be simply using our convolutional neural network along with the max pooling. We will not use any of the techniques like regularization, dropout, and batch normalization. None of these. The reason is we need to we need to first build here baseline classifier so that we can compare performance of baseline classifier and the classifier which we make with the regularization. To make our baseline classifier, we are gonna use here sequential API. So for that, we need to import all the necessary APIs here. So I write here from tensorflow.keras.layers import conv2d that's the convolutional 2d since we are using here image so we need to use convolutional 2d thereafter max pooling 2d and then i write here flatten layer then i write here the dense layer in coming lessons we will be also using the dropout so i'm just gonna uh, import all those here itself Thereafter, we will be also using here batch normalization. So dropout and batch normalization, all these are not used for baseline classifier. But I have imported here so that I can use this when I build when I build a, a, a augmented classifier or not or regularized classifier. Thereafter, I write here from tensorflow dot dot models import sequential once we import all the necessary layers thereafter we write here dev get base model thereafter i'm just gonna do here model is equal to sequential then i write here model dot add I'm going to write here convolutional 2D. In that, I write total number of filters here 32. Then I write here the filter size, which is 3 by 3. That is actually a 3 by 3 filter size in height and width. Thereafter, I write here activation method is equal to ReLU. Whenever you assign first layer of convolutional layer, you need to provide their input shape. So I write here input shape is equal to. So you need to make sure that you provide exactly the same input shape which you used during your train generator. So I used here 228. So I need to write here 228 cross 228. Since this is three channels, so I need to also write here three. Let me explain you this model through this example, what you see. So this was the input image. So we provided the shape of this input image in our first convolutional layer. Otherwise, if you don't do that, then you have to add their input layer before this convolutional layer. So I have added input layer inside this convolutional layer itself. So I did not add additional input layer. After that, we will be using here pooling layer and then we will use here convolutional layer thereafter pooling and convolutional layer and so on in final we will put here a dense layer and thereafter we will put a single neuron and we will put here activation function as sigmoid so all those things we are going to build as base as baseline classifier so after this first convolutional layer i'm going to add here model dot add max pool layer so i write i write here max pooling 2d in that I write here 2 comma 2 thereafter I add here model dot add then I add here conv 2d in that I write total number of filters which are 64 here then I add here 3 by 3 filter size and then I add here activation method which is ReLU activation thereafter I add here model dot add and then I add here max pooling 2d and in this i add here 2 by 2 so we have added here two convolutional layer as of now as a base classifier i'm going to add here third convolutional layer as well so simply i'm going to just copy this whole thing from here and then i'm going to paste it here so in starting you see total number of filters are here 32 thereafter we are using here 64 filters Thereafter, we are going to use here 128 filter. 
rest of other things are gonna be same after this then we are gonna do here flatten layer i add here model dot add then i add here flatten layer after doing all these then i do here model dot add in that i add here dense layer I, I add here 512 neurons and then this activation method I write here as ReLU. After doing all these, after doing all these, I add here model dot add, then I add here a dense layer with one single neuron and then here I write activation method is equal to sigmoid. Once all these things happens, then I write here model dot summary. All right. So in fact, what is happening here? We have added a dense layer in output stage and we are going to use here sigmoid activation function. If you compare this model with this image, you will see here a similar kind of baseline model which we built there. Only difference is that we have skipped here few uh, dense layers. The reason is we don't have that many of images like million of images. It is just 23,000 images. So out of those 23,000, 18,000 are going to use for the training purpose. So for that we don't need to make a complex convolutional neural network. A simple neural network will be more than enough to get it done there. Once you make your baseline uh, model, I'm just going to uh, remove this. Then I'm going to write here return model. All right. So once all these things are done, then I'm just going to run it. I get here get base model and in that I'm returning here model. Now you can simply write here model is equal to get baseline model. You will get here base model. Thereafter, you can print here the summary of this model by typing simp simply model dot summary. It will give you model summary. So in model summary, you will be seeing there a sequential API. So the use of sequential API to put all the layer in a single container. So the same thing this sequential API is doing there. You have their convolutional 2D and their number of parameters and output shape. In coming lessons, we will try to understand that how these output shape and number of parameters are calculated for this convolutional neural network. Alright, I'll see you then.